What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to optimize a WordPress blog post for SEO for page ranking and faster Google page indexing using the Yoast SEO WordPress plugin. In the latest video that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here, we did learn how to install and set up this amazing WordPress SEO plugin and now we're gonna be optimizing our very first blog post using it tools. First of all, of course, you need to write up your blog post. I already did that in, the, in a Google Doc file. So we're gonna move to WordPress dashboard, post, set new, and the very first thing to do is open the document where we did write the post and copy the title. Our title gonna be 5 reasons to use WordPress for your website. Now we're gonna copy the entire post content and post into the editor page of WordPress. Here we have the post with subtitles and titles. Now as you can see, we have the readability tool of the Yoast WordPress plugin that did check the, how easy it is for Google to read your content. Like passive voice usage, for example, the light of the sentence, the amount of content. If you got a green light, this means that your content is good to be indexed and it's really well written. You have a link where you can click so you can check. Now we're gonna use the analytical tools to optimize the content properly. In the SEO tab, we're gonna start by using the focus key phrase that in our case is gonna be use WordPress. So copy it from the title and post. The very thing to look is the SEO title. That's the title that's gonna appear in the search page. That's gonna appear on Google search result page. If you apply a lot of content, it's bad and you get a red light. But if you apply the proper amount of content, you get a green light. And of course, you need to have your focus key phrase into the title for Google. Now, the meta description. The description that appears next to the title in the search result page. Of course, you do need to have the focus key phrase, but there's an amount of content. If you type too much content, you get a head bar. If you, might, if you do not type the exact amount of content to fit the criteria, you get an orange light and we want to get everything in green so we can have our post optimize it faster now what else we need to look at it's the post permalink what is permalink and how to change it i'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for another video tutorial where i do explain how to change wordpress permalinks but keep in mind that you need to have your focus key phrase in the WordPress permalink. For example, your website title.com and the post title address. In our case, we, need, we do need to have the use WordPress as part as the post permalink, the post URL. After that, we're gonna click on the SEO analytics so we can see, we have three problems and 10 green lights. You are doing pretty well. The key phrase light, the key phrase introduction, outboard links, that is, we, need to, we do need to have a outboard link. A outboard link is a link to the post, a link inside your post linking to another website that isn't yours. The key phrase dynasty. As you can see, we do have a lot of words WordPress into our content. And Google do not like that. It seems like a scan. So we need to delete some WordPress and change for another word. Like replace it. Now, we're good. We have 11 green lights now. And only two problems. 
one of the problems is the internal link. The outboard link is a link to an outside. site. The internal is a link inside your site. For example, a link to another post from your blog inside your site or for even your homepage. Now, we have 12 green lights and the, last, the latest one is the image alt text. What is that? Every single thing that you post into your WordPress website needs to have an image. You probably not said that in a lot of posts that you read across the web. Just select an image to upload it. Make sure that the title of the image reflects the content and the image reflects your content. Click on it and in the alt text, the alternative text, you do need to have the focus key phrase or just copy the entire post title and post on this alt text content. And there we go. The unique problem now that needs improvement, it's the focus key phrase, it's not on the beginning, but according to the content that you write, this is not a problem and we get all the green lights that we need for Google optimize and see our post faster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visual model portfolio of amazing WordPress themes, with all the compatibility that you need to create an SEO friendly website. And it is, I see you later, all the best!